Hey everybody, it's Millie from Second Spring Soaps. Um, I wanted to make a real fast video. I'm going to show you guys my new salt soaps I've been working on. Um, I've been working on them all this month and I hope to debut them in January just in time for Valentine's Day. So what I've got here in the pot, I've already mixed my oils and my lye together. And my oils, all I'm using is some coconut oil and some castor oil. So that's the only two oils that I'm using and there's a reason behind that. Um, I'm making a salt soap. Actually here's my salt. I've got it all measured out. Uh, with salt bars, uh, salt really really inhibits lather in a soap and coconut oil and castor oil are really well known for their lathering abilities. So when you make a soap, salt soap what you want to do is you want to use as much coconut oil as you possibly can. I actually use 95% coconut oil and 5% castor and it makes a really really good lather and especially after a nice long cure the the lather is just fantastic. Plus I am um, super fat at 15% my normal soaps are super fatted at 6 to 7% depending on what oils are in them but this one's actually going to be super fatted to 15% so that means that 15% of the oils are not going to turn into glycerin, which gives you a nice good lather. But anyways, um, I'm pretty emulsified at this point. I'm starting to trace, which is where I want to begin. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dye the soap. I'm going to make an orange color. I'm using a little bit of red and a lot of yellow and a little bit of a peach color. There's my red. And this is actually going to be paired with a really fantastic scent that I'm very excited about. So I'm wanting a good orange color. And then a little bit of this peach. I'm going to mix this up and see where we're at. Ooh, that's awesome. That is a really, really nice bright orange. That is exactly what I'm wanting. That's perfect. I don't need any more of that, so I'll put my dyes up. And the scent that I'm going to use, I've actually, you've actually seen me use it before. I'm using the fragrance number five from the Brambleberry Soap Fall Winter Team. If you'll remember back in August and September, I actually tested a bunch of fragrances for Brambleberry. And this number five was one of the ones that got picked, and the scent is called water lily orange that's the official name for it and I still have a little bit left so I thought I would use it up I'm going to go ahead and put this in and it has a really great scent to it I'm going to put a couple capfuls in I wanted a nice a nice strong scent uh, the water lily really comes out strong it's very very floral the orange is kind of a background note but I really really like this and I'm actually going to add something a little bit different to this because there's the orange orange is you know it's a citrus I'm actually going to add a little bit of I believe it's bentonite clay or bentonite clay I can't pronounce it right I'm southern I can't help myself but I'm gonna add a little bit of clay to this to help hold that fragrance in so let me go grab that All right, I get my clay from our natural foods market here in town. And I'm just going to add just a little bit, maybe like half of a, maybe like half of a teaspoon, not a lot, just enough to kind of hold that fragrance in. And this will make this bar a little bit more silky too. I really like adding clay to the bars because the bars get really, really silky. So I'm just going to mix this all in. So I've added my fragrance, my dye, and a little bit of clay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. Usually you want to let this get to a really good thick trace before you add your salt because the salt will sink. I'm just going to go ahead and pop mine in and go from there. So my salt mixture, I've already measured it out. I actually used uh, 12 ounces of oil for this batch and then this is going to be seven ounces of salt 
and it's a mixture of coarse ground sea salt and finely ground sea salt. So I put a little bit of both in. I use more coarse than I do fine. I'll probably use, I believe with this one I used five ounces of coarse and seven ounces of fine sea salt. And the salt will actually help the mixture along. Salt gets really, really hot really fast when you add it in and it's just going to help that soap get going a little bit quicker. Man, I'm digging this orange color. This orange turned out perfect. Orange turned out perfect. Alright, so now that this is all mixed in together, That looks really, really good. I'm actually going to put it in my mold, and I'm using my cute um, little flower mold here. Let me move that up. There we go. I'm using my little flower mold from Wilton, and there's a reason that I'm, I picked this mold in particular, and there's a reason that all of my salt soaps are going to be either flowers or circles or hearts or some shape kind of like that. And it's because when you're working with salt soap, if you put it in a loaf mold like my normal soaps and you've got your big loaf and then you cut it, cut, 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 you're actually going to have to time that pretty perfectly because if you let salt soap sit for too long, it will be really, really brittle when you try to cut it and it'll just crumble. So your best bet when you mold this is to mold it in individual molds so you can just let it harden up and then pop it out and they look really really perfect when you do that. And then another thing when I pop these out I'm actually going to spray these with 91% rubbing alcohol because because there's so much coconut oil in these they're really bad to get soap ash and it's just kind of ugly. It doesn't actually hurt the soap at all, but it's kind of ugly looking. So, if you spray 91% alcohol on there, it can sometimes keep that from happening. Alright, so let's get this all poured up. With salt soap, you want to let it cure for quite a long time. And that way you get a nice, good, hard bar. So these will cure for about four to six weeks. And like I said, I'm hoping to get all these on Etsy in January. It's my goal at least. But I made a bunch of these uh, maybe about a month, month and a half ago and have just started using them and let me tell you, I, I'm in love with this all up. It's fantastic. My skin is super, super soft after I use it. I'm just get the last of this in here. And these are my salt bars. And remember, they're scented with water lily orange. And you can find that at brambleberry.com. And there they are. My little salt soaps. Thank you. See you guys later.